Welcome to Hurry Up Pinball, a show where I teach you how to work on your pinball machine. Today I will show you how to install the building mod fix for Godzilla Premium and LE. So grab your tools and let's get going. Here you can see the standard plastics on the roof of the Godzilla Premium and LE building. In this next clip, you'll see a common issue during Godzilla Multiball where the balls drain straight down the middle even when the pinball machine is level. Here you can see the fix I created for the roof of the building. This mod shifts the starting point to the left, which results in a much better feed to the left flipper and better separation of the pinballs. I have included a link for this mod in the description and it is available for purchase via the Pinside shop. To begin this installation, make sure you have access to the sides of the pinball cabinet, then open the coin door, remove the lockdown bar, and remove the playfield glass. Now take a Phillips screwdriver and remove the four screws holding on the roof plastics. We will be reusing the white spacers and the screws when installing the roof mod. Next. Remove the screws and the white spacers from the stock plastics. To remove the spacers, gently wiggle them until they come free. You can also pinch the top of the spacer to make removal easier. Now take the two new roof mods and install the white spacers as seen here. Take your time and be gentle when installing the spacer into the roof mod holes. Here is how the two roof pieces should look when the spacers are installed. Now raise the front cover of the building and slide the new base plate into the building and then line up the base plate with the screw holes. Here is how it should look when properly lined up. Now grab the right side roof section, install the screws in the spacer holes, and install it using your Phillips screwdriver. You want it to be snug, but do not over tighten it. Repeat this process for the other side. Here is how the roof mod should look when properly installed. At this time, turn the game on and let it boot up. Now it is time to test the mod. Hit the start button, plunge the ball and grab it, and then feed it up both ramps. Then trigger the opto for the building until the building lowers. Then lock a ball. Repeat the ball lock for balls two and three. If you don't want the ball search to trigger during this process, you can hold one of the flipper buttons. You can also test the ball drop using the game specific tests from the main menu if you remove three pinballs from the pinball machine. If you use the building test method, don't forget to pull the white pin out on the inside of the corn door so the building will move. With the white pin pulled out, be careful when reaching under the playfield as there is high voltage flowing underneath the playfield with the pin pulled out. If everything looks good, reinstall the playfield glass and lockdown bar and then close the coin door. Push the pinball machine back into position if you moved it prior to the install, and be sure to play a few test games to double check your work. I want to thank Troy Taylor from the Basement Arcade Bar in Concord, North Carolina for testing this mod on location and providing his feedback. This is Craig with Hurry Up Pinball, and I wanted to say thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, show your support for Hurry Up Pinball and click the subscribe button. We can also be found on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram under Hurry Up Pinball.